the newest Avengers movie, Age of Ultron, will again feature one of the most neurologically fascinating characters in the Marvel Universe, the Incredible Hulk. For those of you who have lives and do grown-up things unconnected to the comic world, the Incredible Hulk is the nine-foot-tall, green-skinned, titanically muscled alter ego of mild-mannered scientist Bruce Banner. Banner was subject to a gamma radiation accident such that whenever he gets angry, lightning-fast, dramatic physiological processes transform him into the Incredible Hulk. These changes must involve fire hose secretions of human growth hormones from Dr. Banner's anterior pituitary and almost certainly mind-boggling quantities of the stress hormone cortisol. What intrigues me is why brilliant and uber-articulate nuclear physicist Dr. Bruce Banner He'd have to heat the cube to 120 million Kelvin just to break through the Coulomb barrier. If he could do that, he could achieve heavy ion fusion at any reactor on the planet. Upon transformation into the Hulk, is suddenly reduced to a two-syllable vocabulary. Hulk! Smash! Every part of his body grows, presumably including his brain. Why doesn't his intellect increase as well? Why isn't the Hulk a mean, green thinking machine? I've heard several explanations of Banner's sudden loss of articulation. My buddy Jeff posits the growth in Banner's brain is asymmetrical, that a side effect of transforming into the Hulk involved an incomplete growth in a part of the brain's left hemisphere called Broca's area that controls speech. Damage to Broca's area can cause a condition called expressive aphasia. The person knows what he or she, yes, there is a she-hulk. They know what they want to say, but are unable to form the words or sentences to express it. One example is the character in Game of Thrones, Hodor, who can only say, Hodor. Hodor? Hodor. 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 Another Hulk brain asymmetrical development theory involves an outsized growth of his brain's fight or flight mechanism. Hulk's amygdala, instead of being the size of an almond, grows to grapefruit proportions and keeps him constantly hyper aroused. He perceives and reacts to every stimulus as a threat. Another theory is that while Hulk's brain size remains proportional, in order to innervate his gargantuan musculature, his motor cortex, which controls voluntary movements, has had to recruit neurons from other parts of his brain, leaving precious little energy or brain cells for cognition or speech. Of course, these are just theories. And like gut bacteria, everybody has lots of them. What does explain Dr. Bruce Banner's sudden inability to articulate once he becomes the Hulk? I'd love to know what you think. Please, leave a comment below and Hulk smash!